EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cleveland Browns. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Cleveland. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. The 30. 10, 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. So a heck of a start to this one. We haven't even gotten settled in already in the end zone on the opening kickoff. And you know what happens, too? Now, now, now you got to translate what that means because I think for a team that just scored, their defense, I think they'll be more aggressive now. They'll be bolder. They're playing with a lead and an early one and some momentum. So if you're the offensive coordinator on the other side of the field, you better be prepared for some heavy pressure coming your way. They're going to try and get another big score and a big one early. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. From the 10. looking to throw it. A dump down to McKenna. Finding space at the 40. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roll and picked up big yardage. Mahomes now on first down. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolded. Now, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Up the middle, it's Chubb. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And taking it to the 15-yard line before it's brought down. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. A run for Nick Chubb. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second and seven, Watson to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Cooper the man in motion right. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. They'll 
give it to Chubb. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Here's Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb from a yard out. And the Browns have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. from the 10th. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down 15-0 here already, needing to jumpstart this offense, first and 10. And he's gonna get this one across the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Mahomes going to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Mahomes now on first down. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes will get this complete to Kadarius Tony. Now he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to try. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. There he goes left side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. The mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a pro bowl corner and coverage there. And not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a pro bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, 
And it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tagged as one of the best in the league the prior season. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Pulls it in at the 13. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Oh, it's time to give more credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time no, moments. No. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Well. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And he spins through. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco as the first half is winding down, and the Chiefs are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead's down to two scores now at 16. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Yeah. 
And how about that for just running out the clock? And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot before the break. Watson. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And incomplete on the deep ball. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports from the 10. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 44-yard line. 16 yards on the play as they try to chip away at this 16-point deficit. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to get the football. 